Are you new to Logic Pro for iPad? In this video, I'll share what I think you should do when you first download the app. Love it or hate it, Logic Pro for iPad is only available at a subscription price point. Though it does have a really generous free trial that I recommend anyone interested in using the app takes advantage of ASAP. Once you download the app from the iOS App Store, you'll be prompted to try the app via the one month free trial that Apple offers and which subscription model you want, either yearly at $49 slash £49 or monthly at $4.99 or £4.99. Once you've picked which subscription you want to do, you'll be prompted to download three essential sound packs, the Studio Instrument Essentials Pack, the Electronic Essentials Pack and the Hip Hop Essentials Pack. Altogether, these packs come in at a little under 2 gigabytes and give you a core selection of loops, instrument patches and plug-in presets to get you started. There are many more sound packs available, but before you dive into that, I'd highly recommend that you Logic Pro for iPad is a deep and complicated DAW and the 40 plus available lessons here are a great way to help you get your head around it. You should probably try and work your way through all of these at some point, but I'd recommend the following lessons at least before diving into the app properly. Logic Pro for GarageBand users. If you're coming to Logic Pro from GarageBand, then you'll likely find this lesson useful. In it, you'll learn stuff like how to find sounds and loops in the browser, how to create tracks, how to use play surfaces to play software instruments, how to edit sounds, arrange and edit regions, how to use live loops and how to download additional sound packs. You should also have a look at the record and edit and arrange lessons to get a better understanding of how to find your way around the app and the work with plugins lessons which show you how Logic's plugin tile system works gives you an intro to the excellent Sample Alchemy, Beatbreaker, Chroma Glow and Quantec Room Simulator plugins and an overview of how Logic's mixer, buses and sends work. Logic Pro for iPad has dozens of other free to download content packs besides the three essential packs you downloaded earlier. It's important to note that unlike GarageBand and Logic Pro on Mac, on iPad, the two iPadOS versions of these apps do not share a sound library. So while GarageBand for iOS users may recognize some of these packs from their GarageBand sound library, you'll still need to download them again to use them in Logic Pro. The whole shebang, so the Logic Pro for iPad app and all available content packs, as of this video anyway, come in at a little over 30 gigabytes. so make sure you have enough free storage available before downloading them. If you want to download absolutely everything, the best way is to open the sound library, either by opening the browser and tapping here from inside a project, or by tapping see all from the home screen hit Manage Packs and then tap Get All next to All Available Packs. If you'd rather pick and choose which packs to install, here are a few recommendations. 8-Bit Legends. It's packed full of excellent nostalgia-drenched alchemy patches, loops and samples. The alchemy patches in particular are brilliant and if you're into creating synthwave or retrowave or just love that 80s aesthetic, this pack is a must-have. Hybrid Textures is squarely focused on one of Logic Pro's most powerful but often overlooked features, Sample Alchemy. The vast majority of the loops that come with this pack are MIDI loops and patterns that use Sample Alchemy. The patterns in particular are absolutely fantastic. The latest sound pack to land in Logic Pro for iPad as of this video, Visions is jam-packed with some of the filthiest, grittiest and hauntingly bizarre loops and patches Logic has ever seen. This pack focuses mainly on alchemy synth patches and step sequencer loops. And while on the face of it some of these sounds can sound a little bit out there, there is some really usable stuff in here and I've probably had more fun making tracks using the sounds in this pack than any other available in Logic Pro.
The studio horns and studio string sound packs are the largest available in the whole sound library, and with good reason. The instrument sounds that come with these packs are nothing short of phenomenal. And garage band sounds. If you're coming from garage band and plan to bring across your projects to Logic Pro, this pack is essential. It adds instrument compatibility samples and over 1300 Apple loops. Speaking of opening GarageBand projects in Logic Pro for iPad, Apple have made the process incredibly easy. With Logic Pro open from the file screen, instead of tapping the plus icon to open a fresh Logic project, instead make your way to the GarageBand for iOS folder. Tap through and when you've found the project file you want to open in Logic, go ahead and tap on it. A box will pop up telling you that a duplicate project will be created in Logic Pro for iPad, and after a few seconds, it will open in the Logic Pro workspace. All plugins you had applied, including third-party AUV3s, will be present and correct, provided they are currently installed on your device, of course. And you can just pick up where you left off. Logic Pro for iPad includes three AI-powered session players, which can help you create almost lifelike instrumental performances to go along with the other tracks in your projects. At the time of making this video, there is a bass session player, keyboard session player, and drummer session player. All three come with loads of presets that allow you to quickly dial in a brilliant sounding musical accompaniment, plus each has a suite of controls and parameters that you can use to fine tune their performance. Unlike other iOS DAWs, like GarageBand for example, where you need to switch to different screens to access different touch instruments interfaces, you can play any of Logic Pro for iPad's instrument patches using one of five playable surfaces. A straight up keyboard, drum pads, a fretboard, chord strips, or guitar strips. There are full lessons for each of Logic Pro for iPad's more unique stock plugins in the Learn and Explore section inside the app, but here's a quick rundown of some of my favourites. Beatbreaker is an audio effect that reorders incoming audio in real time, allowing you to slice up your audio and add multiple effects. You can do some really weird things with Beatbreaker, but I found it to be especially useful for adding stutter type effects to melodies and drum patterns. It's really easy to get to grips with and really great fun to use. The original Quantec Room Simulator was created back in 1982 by Wolfgang Wolf Buchleitner. Capable of incredibly transparent and realistic recreations of room acoustics, QRS quickly became a favourite in the music industry. Apple acquired Quantec and their tech a while back and have now turned these rare and coveted hardware effects into an easily accessible plugin inside Logic Pro. And it is absolutely incredible. A 
fully integrated AI mastering suite, Mastering Assistant gives us Logic Pro for iPad users a really convenient and easy way to finalize our projects. When active, the Mastering Assistant analyzes your project and, based on the analysis, may apply corrective EQ, adjust the loudness, or adjust the overall stereo spread of your project. If you're familiar with other AI mastering services like Lander Mastering, BandLab's free online mastering, or Isotope's Ozone 8 plugin, then you'll know the score here. It's a brilliant feature and one you won't see in any other iPad DAW. Right, that's what to do first in Logic Pro for iPad. Let me know your thoughts on this app and whether you plan to take advantage of that free trial if you haven't already. And if you're already using Logic Pro for iPad, let me know what you want to see in the next big update that's definitely coming soon, right? In the comments as well. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.